today's lesson is all about factors. We've already learned that factors are the numbers you multiply to get your product. Well, today we're going to kind of be working backwards. So I have a product of 16, and I want to find all of the factors, the numbers that we multiply together, that could equal 16. To make sure I find all of the factor pairs that equal the product of 16, I'm going to start by seeing if there's something times 1 that equals 16. And there is 1 times 16 equals 16. Then I'm going to work my way down. So I've tried 1, and that worked. I'm going to try 2. So is there something times 2 that equals 16? And there is. We have 8. I'm going to try 3. Is there anything times 3 that equals 16? Well, if I skip count by 3, I have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. So no 16. So 3 doesn't work. 3 is not going to be a factor. I'm going to try 4. Is there anything times 4 that equals 16? And there is 4 times 4 equals 16. I could keep going to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way to 16, but we're going to just start getting the opposite of what we already have. So I'm going to get to 8 times 2 and 16 times 1, and we already know that those are factors that work. So I'm going to write all the factors that I found, all the numbers that you can multiply together to get 16. Once again, I'm going to just go in order. So there's 1, 2, 4. I only need to write it once. And there's 8 and 16. So those are all of the factors of 16. 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Here's another example. If I have a product of 22, and I want to find all of the factors of 22. Once again, I'm going to start with 1. So there's something times 1 that equals 22. And there is. There will always be something times 1 that equals our product. So now I'm going to move on to 2. Is there 2 times something that equals 22? There is. There's 11. I try 3. Now 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 8 is 24. So no, that will not work. Try 4. Now 4 times 5 is 20. 4 times 6 is 24. So no, 22. I try 5. I know my 5s are 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So no 22. So I just keep going. Try 6. I have 6, 12, 18, 24. So no 22. 7. I have 7, 14, 21, 28. Still no 22. Try 8. My 8s are 8, 16, 24, still no 22. 9, 9, 18, 27, so that still doesn't work. 10, 10, 20, 30, so no 22. And then I have 11, and we finally have another one that works. 11 times 2 equals 22, but you'll notice... I already have 11 and 2, so I've just gotten to the opposite. So I know I can stop now because if I just keep going, it's just going to be the opposite of things I've already tried until I get to 22, which will be 22 times 1. So I'm going to erase this half because I already had all those factors on the left. And the factors of 22 are 1. 
two, eleven, and twenty-two. Don't worry, not all of them will take quite that long. Since these are a little tricky, I'm going to do one more example. So here is a product of seven. I want to find all of the factor pairs. So I start with one. One will always work. One times seven equals seven. Two doesn't work. Three. I have three, six, nine, so no seven. Four is four and eight. So that doesn't work. Five. You have five and ten. Six. No. And seven works, but we already have one and seven, so we don't need to write those again. So the factors of seven are just one and seven. If we ever have a product that only has has factors of one and itself, in this case seven, this is a special number called a prime number because it only has the factors of one and itself. Okay, I'm going to have you try this one. We want you to find all of the factors of eight. So go ahead and give that a try, pause it, and we'll see how you're doing. Okay, so we start with one, and one times eight equals eight. We try two, two times four equals eight. Three doesn't work, four, it's just the opposite of four times two, so we're done. Our factors are one, two, four, and eight. Okay, one more practice problem for you. Find all of the factors of 14. Go ahead and pause. Okay, start with one. One times 14 equals 14. Try two, it works. Two times seven equals 14. Three does not work. Four does not work. Five does not work. Six does not work. And seven works. Seven times two equals 14, but we already have seven and two. So that means we're done. So our factors are one, two, seven, and 14. Okay, today you have two problems. So I want you to find the factors of each number. For number one, you're gonna find all the factors of five. And number two, you're going to find all the factors of 24. Thank you for listening and have a great night.